this morning about what to do given the weather and we could have canceled it and reloaded for another day or we could have had this in city hall uh in a, in a much more sort of sterile environment where we could be out here in the elements really celebrating what is gordon's biggest legacy and that's main street so uh i said rather than make the wrong call i've learned a little bit over time I said, why don't we ask our, our senior statesman here gordon how what he'd like for us to do and i gave him the options and he said you know what let, let, let's go for it, let's have it outside. So uh, again, I can't thank you all enough for braving the, the difficult weather of being out here uh, in support of Gordon Hour, who is incredibly deserving and, and really had the opportunity to see firsthand uh, the impacts of his leadership and his vision uh, when he was first mayor of this great city. So with that, I was having a tough day and he would invariably sort of put his hand on my shoulder and look me in the eye in his very kind of Gordon Hour reverent way and he would say, Mayor, this too shall pass. Right? And, and so, and, and it was true. He was always right. And, 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 it, and that moment, however frustrating or, or challenging, would pass. And it's good advice for us all that whatever we're going through at that moment, too shall pass. Uh, so when he has given me tremendous gifts, but the greatest gift he gave me is when he honored me to ask him to do with his forward. And so uh, I just, I've never really got a chance to publicly thank you for that, Gordon, but uh, it meant an awful lot to me personally. And uh, I hope I did you proud because the book was wonderful and hopefully we can sell a few more today. But uh, I really am honored uh, that you that you took, that you asked uh, me to do that. So thank you, Gordon. Uh, but I'm going to read from that forward and, and I'm going to thank Gordon now. Uh, Gordon has been a trusted mentor and friend, and he's able to see things from very many points of view. And that is a, a great gift that you have, Gordon, as an elected official, as a community member, but almost certainly as a friend. So, uh, as much as you like to say this too shall pass, your impact on the city, your impact on what we see, the built environment around us, will, not, will never pass. So your contribution to the city is lasting forever, which is why it's so appropriate for us to come together today to honor you with this plaque, uh, to, and because it was Gordon Mauer, and that you'll see that in the plaque. It was Gordon Mauer that stopped the devastating urban renewal period in the city to understand that the best thing we had going for us as a community was a story and a sense of place and that history that we have as a community. And we can move forward as a community, but we don't have to forget who we were or who we came from. And it's our success going forward as a community is going to be our ability to tell that story well. Uh, and without these buildings, without the merchants that are in these buildings, without this tremendous Main Street, which is such a source of pride for us, we would not have been able to tell that story in the same way. So Gordon Mauer's legacy and impact in this community will truly, because when those buildings are gone, you can't ever get them back. You can't ever get them back. And then Gordon stopped that. And so, you know, his impact on this community will truly last forever and shall not pass. So, Gordon, will you join with me? Right now we're going to do the unveiling. Uh, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna turn the microphone over to you. Gordon. Was worried I was gonna give him a hard time today, but uh, I uh, right? You 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 often do the same to me. It says, uh, 19th Mayor, Mayor Gordon B. Mauer, 1974 to 1978 and 1987. He came back to serve again. As mayor in the 1970s, his vision saved Bethlehem's historic downtown from the wrecking ball of urban renewal and refocused the city on the viability and vibrancy of its heritage. We go back to when I was around, and it's neat to see a lot of young people here that are here today. And a lot of old friends, a lot of old political people, a lot of people that I've watched come to Bethlehem when they were young and said, speak into the mic and I will do that. And I hope that works. <laughs> so, I tell everybody else how to use the mic. It's time I used one too. Uh, in the Moravian Church, in which I am a part of, we have a book called the Moravian Text. And each day it has a reading from the Old Testament and has a reading from the New Testament. 
and I read today the meeting reading of the New Testament. We intend to do what is right, not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of others, which I think is a great model for what I try to do as a minister in this town. To do what is right in the sight of the Lord, and also to do what is right uh, in the sight of others, and so we have to try to listen to others, and I think we tried to do that. I look back, and I have good memories. Uh, I remember when we were going to rip everything down and build a new downtown Bethlehem. We were going to have two big department stores at each end of the town, and then we would build stores in between, and that was going to make a big mall down here. Well, I'll tell you today, folks, I think that would have been the worst thing that we could have done, and I'm certainly happy that we didn't do it. And I remember walking down Main Street, looking at these buildings that the Moravian Church built, that the Moravian College built, that the community built, uh, and I, I can get excited about seeing that because we have one thing to sell down here, and that's history. And we're in the process of doing that, and I'm glad we've done it. And we've had citizens from all over have done it. It hasn't been just me. And I enjoyed serving with the other mayors of Allentown and Bethlehem. Uh, and Easton. I don't want to forget Easton. So <laughs> we'll do that to you. But it's a great pleasure to be here, and I'm honored to be a part of that. And I'm honored that we have a great city here in Bethlehem. Because I love Bethlehem. I care for Bethlehem. I would do almost anything I could possibly do for Bethlehem. Because it's a great place. And I enjoy immensely in the evening, coming to downtown Bethlehem and seeing people walk up and down the streets. And I remember all of you are there. Well, anyway, thank you all for coming, and God bless you, and have a great day, uh, and love you all.